RG&E launches new pop-up mobile command centers to help meet customer needs. It comes amid ongoing billing issues, something we've been following for well over a year now. Natalie Kuchko joins us in the studio to further explain how it works and why some city leaders still have concerns. Natalie. Hi, Teresa. We stopped by this pilot pop-up site at one of Rochester's R centers. Organizers there say customer service is of major importance here. Crews say going forward, they plan to bring needed access to customers at various locations in the city. Over the last few months, RG&E has developed a program which launched Friday to establish pop-up customer service sites in the city of Rochester. The first outside the David Gant R Center on North Street. What we've been hearing from customers and from the public is loud and clear. They need access to us. They need to be able to get to us so that they can receive help. And so we're bringing our services to the people and making sure that they have that access. Veronica Dasher is among those with RG&E behind this initiative. She says customers will be able to bring their needs directly to employees working these sites. Rochester City Council member Michael Patterson says he wants more of the pop-up sites in Rochester and a permanent location where folks can visit regularly. I want to commend them for having the event, but I'm also going to challenge them to do better. And better is consistent regular service to this community and being available so that when my constituents have billing issues, they can come and sit down with somebody face to face and have a conversation. Dasher says the company has continued to address ongoing staffing challenges, but says the program has been a community partnership over the last few months. We had to start somewhere and this is where we're starting. We're just out here and we're present because we realize that that's what the need is and we're going to continue to just keep showing up. RG&E RG &E officials telling me today that payments will not be accepted at these pop-up centers. The company plans to hold more of these events in the future with a schedule to be announced at a later time.